today we are doing the mid-year book freak out tag. I hate saying the word tag, it's been ruined for me forever. I'm getting up the questions because I'm a piece of shit who doesn't do this before filming. I've read so few books this year. I've read like maybe 20. Question number one is the best book that you have read this year. A tie between all of the Scott Pilgrims. These are only four of them. I uh, don't know where the other two went. These, I know they don't all count as one book. I guess I'd say the last one just because that's like the culmination of it all. Really good. You should read it. They're uh, graphic novels. They are hilarious and have some of the best characters you'll ever see ever. Question number two is the best sequel you have read. Really like it. What can I say? A new release you haven't read yet, but want to. I don't actually have that many this year, but I do have this. Uh, this is Lainey Taylor's newest book. I read Daughter Smoke and Bone, and I didn't read the other two. I really like the writing. I just the the premise bothered me. Um, so I want to try again because her writing again, amazing. Um, and if the plot is a little less odd in this one, then not odd, but um. Creepy. Four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. All the Crooked Saints, I believe is the name of Maggie Steve Otter's next book. I'm honestly not really that pumped for releases. There aren't that many authors who are who I like who are coming out with new stuff. Except for her, I guess. I find her interesting more than I like her. It's odd. I, I like her. I like her. So yeah. All the Crooked Saints. No clue what it's about. Don't know if that's even a thing. Biggest disappointment. This fucker. This is The Vegetarian by Han Kong. It is about a woman in Korea who decides to go vegan. I was really excited because I thought it was going to be all about like, oh, it's a metaphor for sexism and how cultural differences are interesting. And instead it was, oh, she's crazy. Didn't like it. Thought it was kind of weak and the plot really fell apart around halfway through. Six, biggest surprise. This this. Uh, this is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I made an entire video about this entire series, and I mentioned that I had read The Summer I Turned Pretty, and I thought it was goddamn awful. And I went to the skeptical, and I was really pleasantly surprised. It was really fun, and light, and adorable, and made me squeal a couple of times, which is nuts, because all that The Summer I Turned Pretty ever did was make me roll my eyes really hard. Seven. Favorite new author. Do I have the- I do have the book. Victoria Schwab. Technically, I haven't finished this book yet, uh, but I will soon. And it is spectacular. Her writing style is spectacular. I think her character creation is spectacular. She's good. I like her. Um, I'm gonna skip eight, because screw that. Nine. Newest favorite character. <laughs> nice chow. She is just a sweetheart, and I relate to her in a lot of ways, and I think that she is really wonderful and she's a bit of an archetype but also everyone in these books are a bit of an archetype and she I love her I love her book that made you cry this one I should talk about these books less but I really enjoyed them and this one in particular was a conclusion and I got way more attached to the characters than I thought I would be and it talked about a lot of things that I personally am very stressed about so that hit a little bit hard 12 but that made you happy um these and these uh but we already talked about those so this was a bit of a surpriser since you've been gone. It took me forever to read this one, um, like over two years. But uh, in the end, reading the second half, a lot of it did make me smile. So, uh, but mostly these books and these books, especially, especially these books. These books are so good. If there's one thing I want you to get out of this video, it is uh, read Scott Pilgrim. Most beautiful book that you've gotten this year. Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. I am super excited to read this in no small part because it has a really kicking cover. It's also supposed to be very good, but mostly the cover. 13 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have quite a few. Here are the top contenders though. Scorpio Races, Maggie Steve Otter, Bell Jar, Sylvia Plath. Classic. Last Unicorn, uh, Peter S. Beagle, Song of Achilles, Madeline Miller. I'd say those are like the top four. Also apparently this tag was created by uh, Read Like Wildfire and someone else. I don't know. Credit where credit is due. Thank you for watching this shitty ass video. I have so little uh, actual energy for seriousness left in my body. Tomorrow's my last day of school. I am about to just collapse. But that doesn't matter. So I'll see y'all next time. Adios. <laughs>